Welcome to the Prompt Builder for Developers video series. In this first episode, you will get an introduction to Prompt Builder and you will explore the different types of prompt templates that you can create in it. My name is Alba Rivas and I am a developer advocate here at Salesforce. Let's get into this. Prompt Builder is a generative AI tool, part of Einstein One Studio. With Prompt Builder, you can create reusable prompt templates that you can ground with your customer data. When prompt templates are executed, they are first resolved into prompts that are sent to a large language model or LLM, so the model can return a response that could be anything in text format, such as HTML, JSON, etc. Something to bear in mind is that prompt templates are always executed through the Einstein Trust layer, which protects the privacy and security of the prompt and also the accuracy of the responses. Thanks to prompt templates, you can enable generative AI capabilities in common Salesforce business use cases, such as email generation, field content generation, record summarization, and more. To use Prompt Builder, assuming your OR license or edition gives you access to it, you will need to activate the Einstein Generative AI capabilities on setup and assign these permission sets to Prompt Template creators and users. There are four different prompt template types. Each template type has different inputs and entry points. You will have to take this into account when grounding or invoking prompt templates, which is something we will cover in the next episodes. Let's start talking about sales email templates. These templates are used to get the help of the model to draft emails. They are bound to a contact or a lead and optionally another object of your choice. They can be invoked from Email Composer, Flow, Apex, the REST API and Copilot. To use sales email templates, you need to have this permission set assigned. To create a sales email template from Prompt Builder, you click on New, you select the sales email template type, you give it a name, select the objects that you want to bind it to, and click on Next. In this case, we will add a simple body to the template that references the contact and user fields. Because iteration is so important in prompt engineering, you can test your prompt templates directly from the prompt builder interface. And this is a sample response from the large language model. To use a sales email template from the email composer of Einstein for Sales, you click on the email icon, then on Draft with Einstein, and finally, you select the sales email template that you want to use. And there it is. Einstein was able to generate some email content for you. Now you can review it and send it to your customer. Let's continue talking about field generation templates. These templates are used to get help from the LLM to draft text content that is meant to be stored on a record field. They are bound to an object of your choice and they can be invoked from a lightning record page, flow, apex, the rest API or copilot. To create a field generation prompt template, you click on new, you select the type, you give it a name, and then select the object and the field. 
This time we will add a slightly more complex body, which is using Apex grounding, something that we will cover in a future video. After saving and activating the template, there is one more step that we need to perform. We need to go into App Builder, make sure we're using dynamic forms, select the field that we want to bind to the prompt template at user interface level, bind it to the template and save. To try it out, we can go to the contact record page, click on edit and click on this button, which will open the Einstein set bar and generate a response for us using the prompt template that is associated with that field. I like it. Let's use it and save the record. Next, record summary templates are used to override the Einstein Copilot summarization action default behavior. We won't be covering them in this series. And finally, let's talk about flex templates. These are used to get the help of a large language model to generate any text content. They are bound to up to five objects of your choice and they can be invoked from Flow, Apex, the REST API and Copilot. Notice there is no out-of-the-box entry point for Flex templates. To create a Flex template, you click New, select the Flex type, give it a name and then select up to five different objects to which bind the template. This API name here is very important because it is the one that you will use when working with the template in Apex or Flow. Because there is no out-of-the-box entry point for Flex templates, we will stop here and cover how to invoke templates in a future video. In this video, you have seen the different types of prompt templates that you can create in Prompt Builder, the inputs that they may have, and the different ways in which you can execute them. In the following video, you will explore the different data providers that you can use to securely ground your prompt templates with customer data. You can try Prompt Builder for free by requesting a five-day trial or as part of the new Quick Start Prompt Builder Trailhead batch, which is the first link that I leave you here. On top of this, I leave you some more links to videos and blogs that will help you get started with Prompt Builder today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of more videos like this one. Thank you and hope to see you in the next video.